today is not clearer than it was a year ago. It's not clearer than it was five years ago. It is progressively getting worse with all the efforts that they're doing around Lake to protect it. I started diving Lake Tahoe in 1979, 1980. In my mind's eye, the lake was uh, a crystal clear gem. I was in my 20s. I didn't appreciate the environment at that time. I didn't understand the environment. I was a diver, diving Lake Tahoe was in my backyard. As an end result, in my mind's eye, 30 years ago, I remember a completely different lake. And if you live here in the Reno Tahoe area, you become passionate about the lake. It's beautiful. It's one of the most beautiful places I've been in the world. It still takes my breath away when I drove, drive over the Mount Rose Highway, when I see the lake, always. And I've lived in Reno for 30 plus years. This lake uh, gives a unique opportunity to divers, having such a large body of, of water and, and the clarity that it's offered through history. Um, most lakes um, are not clear like Lake Tahoe. And to see uh, this particular lake lose the clarity, well, that's, that's, that's sad. You used to be able to see more than 80 feet. You used to be able to see 100 or more feet. And that was the draw of diving in Lake Tahoe. But now it's you know, substantially reduced. That's why it's so important for us to gather this information over a long period of time. If it, it comes to the point where we can see that relationship, then we can take actions which are appropriate. For our project baseline, we decided to pick sites that we knew would get a lot of divers because we wanted to really involve the community. So we picked Sand Harbor, which is probably one of the most popular dive sites in Tahoe. We picked Hurricane Bay, which is also a very popular site. And we picked Bliss State Park, uh, the Rubicon Wall area, which is kind of really a, a very dominant and incredible area for the lake. We also picked Glenbrook Bay, which is where we work on the SS Tahoe, obviously because we're out there a lot. We set up the sites um, so that your standard recreational diver could go out and enjoy not only a dive, but access our data stations. Um, at Sand Harbor, our data station's at 20 feet. At Hurricane Bay, it's at 40 feet by a submerged sailboat that sunk several years back. Our diving experience and exploration at Tahoe over the last 12 years has shown us that Different depths in the lake have a whole different look to them different times of the year. So what we did with Project Baseline Tahoe is we decided to set up visibility monitoring stations. And what we did was we put a depth benchmark into the bottom of the lake. And from that benchmark, we put marker stakes in every 10 feet moving away from that benchmark. Any diver can look at the depth gauge, get a reading. Any diver can look at the temperature gauge, get a temperature reading, and they can look at the visibility, and it'll be the same gauge for anybody using that particular site. We thought about it quite a bit. Our biggest problem was getting old-fashioned analog uh, depth gauges. Basically, we used an auger to drive into the ground for our depth benchmarks. Affixed to that auger is a seven inch by 10 inch box and that box contains the depth gauge and the temperature gauge and that's made out of aluminum. Then the visibility markers are on aluminum stakes that are driven into the ground every 10 feet away from our depth benchmark. We went to Lowe's and got some aluminum and some stakes and just bent and cut. Then we went up and put them in the lake. It's a geologically cool environment. There is no place that I know of in the world that has a four mile granite wall going from the surface down to a thousand feet. There's no place in the world that has the 
granite boulders that exist in Meeks Bay that are four times the size of a house. Hopefully, in working with Project Baseline, we can maybe delay the deterioration of Tahoe and future generations can really get an opportunity to see some of the really cool things that lie underneath this lake because of the way it was formed. <music>